Hey guys, Daniel from Posterboy. I'm um, just talking about how you can get better output from your print files. And I'm going to talk now about adding bleed and margins to your artwork. Now, what bleed means is you can see on this color panel here how we want it. This is set up as an A4, um, and this is the trim size that we can see here. And we want this color panel to go right to the edge, and we want this photo to go right to the edge. Now to achieve that, what you have to do when you supply your print file is add three millimeters to each edge. Um, now, I'm just going to say that again, you have to add three millimeters to each edge. So you don't add three millimeters in total. Um, you actually add would add six millimeters in total to each dimension. So the width will be six millimeters bigger as will the height, uh, not three millimeters. So it's six, three times two. People sometimes get that wrong, which is why I'm harping on about it. Um, anyway, now to achieve that, what you need to do is set the artwork up with bleed, and that means that this color. So what I've done is I've just sh shifted this back to show you the raw size. So uh, this is set up as 216 by 303, um, which is six millimeters bigger on each dimension than A4, and you can see the color washes right out or bleeds out. And when I Put this little template mask back on top. Okay, you can see it trims down to what the size is. Now, the reason that we do that is because sometimes when um, something's printing, it will skew a little bit, and that'll mean that it'll twist just a little bit like that. Okay, so you can see when you got bleed, um, it, it it makes up for that tiny little bit of movement that can happen and it can happen either way so typically it's about half a millimeter each way so in t the difference between each extreme is one millimeter which is fairly big um, really so what the bleed does is it gives us a margin of error when we're trimming it and the other thing um, I'm going to talk about is margins so margins are kind of the same as bleed um, so if you've got something like I've put up here, important content, something that actually has to be on the page, you can't afford to have it not be on the page. So maybe you're doing business cards and it's, it's the name, or it's the logo, or the phone number or, or whatever it is. Um, this is the margin. So a margin, I would, I would say definitely no less than the bleed, but I would recommend no less than five millimeters. And so that's five millimeters here where you just don't put anything that you absolutely have to have. And the reason I recommend five millimeters, which is basically double the bleed, is because if this skewing happens and you've put it closer to the edge, that little bit of white space that your designer wants is just going to completely vanish. And it's just going to look silly. So basically, you need the margin to give you enough space so that if a really bad skew happens, you've still got the white space that you need. And yeah, so anyway, look, that's, that's margins and, and, and bleed, and, and I hope that helps. Thank you.